Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of Common Sense, E.T. Williams. Please visit the website at www.whateverhappentocommonsense.com. You know, there's a lot of people talking about heaven. There's a lot of people talking about race and racism and justice and right and wrong. But I notice a lot of things with all these people talking about justice and doing the right thing and throwing God's name in there, driving all over the Lord's name in vain. There's a lot of people talking about heaven ain't going to heaven. Oh, that's a fact. There's a lot of people talking about justice. They ignore justice time and time again. You can't hide behind religion when you're trying to do the wrong thing. You can't hide behind your racism when you're trying to do the wrong thing. Just like the white supremacists and the Ku Klux Klan used to use the Lord's name in vain saying these good white southerners while they was lynching Negroes, now we have the Black Panthers and these black extremists like the Jeremiah Wrights and all these Negroes saying that they're going to uh, uh, kill Whitey in the name of the Lord. This is what the Lord wants. I've never seen so much racism going on in this country and a lot of people talking about heaven gonna bust hell wide open yeah that's right you can front all you want to acting like you know the Lord you don't know the Lord you a freaking hypocrite pretending like you know the Lord stop using the Lord's name in vain I've never seen so much racism and division probably since the 60s or the 70s a lot of people thought that Barack Obama when he came in office was gonna be the savior well he couldn't be the savior because liberal whites and blacks adopted him as only being the black president well, I thought he was the president of America. But every time you look around, somebody in the Obama administration are bringing up the race card. Eric Holder had a chance to do the right thing with that whole Black Panthers intimidation of the voters. He started quoting my people. Had no sense of doing the right thing. And every time somebody called Eric Holder on this, he starts talking about the 60s, foolish 2014. The hell are you talking about that for? He'll go to a church. And they'll sit there and let this fraud get up in the pulpit. Worse than they had OJ in the pulpit after he uh, was let off the hook. But every time I look, there's a lot of people. I'm talking about on the conservative side and the liberal side. Y'all gonna bust hell wide open using the Lord's name in vain. I don't even try to sugarcoat it. I am what I am. I ask the Lord for forgiveness if I do something. But all you frauds going around, whether it be that whole uh, 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 Carl Rowe crowd who's acting like the GOP is the saviors of the world. A bunch of them GOP going to bust hell wide open. They're frauds too. All they do is rip off people and pretend like they are out there for the needy. Those greedy SOBs wouldn't know Jesus if he was 20 feet tall. And then we have these people like Michelle Obama, who uses the 20, 60th anniversary of Brown, uh, the, the Brown versus the Board of Education to tell the Kansas high school graduates that America is still racist and you want to solve racism. Your husband is the freaking President Heifer. Eric Holder, he was black last time I saw it. Is not he the uh, Attorney General? You got more blacks into Susan Rice. They got the Black Caucus, the Latina Caucus, the Asian Caucus. Everybody talking about being all together, big melting pot, but we got all these divisions was in there. Why we got a black caucus and a white caucus? Yeah, it used to be racist. Let's have one damn caucus. Why are we having all this division going on? Then it's about, let's all get along. People who are really want to do the right thing and use a little common sense, I like to call them the common sense nation. People who didn't put race behind them. They say, I'm going to judge this person based on who they are, what they say, and what they do. Sick of that crap. Every time I turn on the news, somebody want to play the race card or use the Lord's name in vain. Well, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Fool, you a fraud. Lord loves a cheerful giver, but not a greedy SOB. Using the church money to do all kind of crap going on. There's a bunch of preachers, man. Ooh, y'all going to bust hell wide open. And the Lord going to judge y'all uh, more uh, harshly than he judged others. Because you leading the flock. Some of you follow behind these fake preachers. Some of you follow behind these phony uh, politicians. But the Bible says, I thought, my sheep hear my voice, and a stranger they will not follow. I ain't following none of you frauds. Y'all a strange voice to me. I can't relate to a bunch of them. 
Everybody's talking about racism, but nobody really wants to solve racism. That whole crowd in Ferguson went out there acting a plum fool, talking about they out for justice. They want justice for Mike Brown. Did you examine what Mike Brown was doing before he got shot? If he that aggressive in the store, somebody catch you uh, uh, taking something in the store, usually you run. He's such a bully, he stood there and shoved the damn clerk. You want to talk about me by being justice? You ain't got no justice on your side. Give a damn if his mama and dad ain't got no justice on their side. Mama went down there, jumped on grandma, and she said she ain't never done nobody wrong. Are you freaking kidding me? People ain't got no right on them. Every time I look at the news or another story, somebody talking about how right they are. Then they got the nerve to be using the Lord's name in vain. Stop using the Lord's name in vain, fool. Lord don't know you. You worse than the Pharisee. At least the Pharisee had some kind of sense of right and wrong, even though they was a bunch of hypocrites. The time I look at somebody, they tell you what's right. You say, well, E.T., you said this right there. The Lord don't love The Lord don't like you being a coward and a hypocrite either. Get the hell out of my face. I don't want no fraud like you judge me. Get out of my face with that crap. Sick of this nonsense. Every time somebody, I bet they'd have said the same thing about John the Baptist. You extreme, John the Baptist. <laughs> they'd have said the same thing about Jesus when he went in there turning over tables too. Oh, that's extreme. And when David got mad, that corner this guy in David, he was riding down after somebody had insulted him, had his 600 with him, about to go down there and chop off some heads. He said, if that woman, you hadn't stopped me, boy, I was on my way, it was on. See, sometimes you got to get that David warrior mentality in you. Stop talking about, when it's convenient, you turn the other cheek. You ever notice that? People want to get, when they want to be a coward, they say, the Lord said, turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek when you want to do some ridiculous writhing like you're doing in Ferguson. Tell me about turning the other cheek, you freaking coward, you. It don't mean turn the other cheek every time somebody do something insulting you, tearing up your country, homosexuality rampant around here. That's another thing. Why is it so glorified in this country, homosexuality? I never seen somebody so ecstatic about a man being plumaged by another man. That is so wonderful you came out of the closet. Do you realize what you're saying? It's wonderful that one man stuck it in another man. You say that's wonderful. What's wonderful about it? How, what's the health benefits of that? <clears throat> How does that make our society better? Does that make the children better? Are you freaking kidding me? But they'll kick God out of the school system. But you better not say nothing about homosexuality. You, said you better not say nothing about some deviant, some child molester going on. America's being destroyed. And a lot of people in church every Sunday, I thought the church supposed to be the salt of the earth. Well, if the salt has lost its saltiness, what is it good for? Spread it out there and let man trample over it. Ain't good for nothing. Don't stand up for nothing. And then you see, sometimes, I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of you couldn't even be a Christian back in the day when they had Peter and Paul going on. Oh, y'all would have sold them out in a minute. But they real hold it on Sunday carrying that Bible. Won't confront no evil. Won't call nobody out because it's venial. You don't want to insult your family members. You don't want to insult your Facebook friends, your Twitter friends, your YouTube friends. Them frauds ain't your friend. That heifer don't know nothing about no Jesus sitting next to the church. I don't care if she's singing in the choir or on the usher board. Don't make no difference to me. Care if that Negro preaching in the pulpit. Any fool constantly uh, uh, propagating race relations and always on the wrong side, you ain't no preacher to me. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're Latino. Right is right. When does right stop being right? Does Jesus say, you know what? It depends on what right is, if you're right or not. But we have more racism going on in this country than ever before since Barack Obama has taken over. Race relations ain't got no, be no better. Because you know why? Every time somebody call that fraud out and point out the facts, they start talking about his race. Race. Colin Powell did it. Oprah Winfrey did it. The reason they saying something against him because he's black. Half of you rich of white people. Barack Obama got elected. Yeah, majority of blacks voted for him. But if it wasn't for whites voting for Barack Obama, he never would have made it as president. It's amazing to me how he's using the race card now. When he was in Hawaii, getting bent over for cocaine, number of white men was running up in Barack. Was he worried about white races then being racist towards you? Was you worried about white men riding you? Get, give me a break with that crap. I'm sick of it. Every time I look around, I look at the news, I see all this injustice of stupid people trying to justify somebody doing the wrong thing. Your, your son robbing the store. You mad because somebody shot him. Heffa, won't you raise that little bastard? He's sitting around terrorizing the whole damn city and we supposed to feel sorry for it. You know, another problem in our society is that we always want to reward people 
for doing the wrong thing. I think we reward people too much because if you just did your job and you only did your job, why should you be rewarded a bonus or something else? See, a bonus or say a distinguished service like a uh, a, 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 a the cross, the DS, uh, uh, DSC award, the second highest military decoration, usually goes to somebody who's done something more than just ordinary. You want to just do the ordinary. It's kind of like the employees at the uh, the minimum wage level. You just do your average job and you want to raise. That's insanity to me. Why should you get rewarded for being average? Average means average. You're getting the average pay. But everybody wants to be rewarded no matter what they have done. You ain't going to get no Medal of Honor. What you've done for the Medal of Honor? All these welfare recipients sitting around sucking up the system say they want some more welfare. What you did to earn it? Because you laid on your back and got pregnant? That's, that's a high honor? I supposed to pay you for that? It's disturbing to me when I see these people trying to defend the wrong thing. Welfare recipients being rewarded. Celebrating, uh, defending Michael Brown. What was Michael Brown doing? He was robbing a store, acting a plum fool. Honorable men who uh, uh, lost their lives doing the, doing the right thing, nobody honors them. There's plenty of people who lost it, whether it be in the line of duty as an officer or in the military. Uh, somebody who was going to work every day, some drunk driver hit him, some illegal came over, robbed him and his family, killed him. Nobody honors them, but they have this whole charade going on now here, marching and protesting. Yeah, there's a lot of people talking about heaven. They ain't going there. You can talk about heaven all you want to. Just because you talk about heaven don't mean you know a thing about heaven. Boy, some of y'all going to wake up miserable one day when the judgment get here. Always talking about heaven. You make me sick. I mean, it's nauseating to hear some of you people telling me about this is right and this is wrong. You're so wrong you wouldn't even know right. You've done the wrong things because you're too caught up in traditions. Oh, nothing gets you in hell faster than tradition. Ask the Pharisees and the scribes. Always talking about heaven. Fool don't know nothing about no heaven. As a matter of fact, you wouldn't want to be in heaven anyway. Because in heaven, you got to do the right thing. There's sound judgment based on what you do. <laughs> That's what you've been rewarded. That's how you get to heaven. You've been rewarded. Now, actually, you get to heaven because of the shed blood. But after you get to heaven, nobody's going to be up there saying, you know what? Uh, his race, I mean, I don't like the way he look, his color. Ain't going to be none of that. Ain't no such thing. Most of y'all wouldn't enjoy it because I would say, well, everybody, look, ain't nobody uh, separating for, from races or intellect or financial gain. Insanity. Why don't America really wake up and stop playing the race card so much and try to just do the right thing regardless of what somebody else thinks, damn it?